What's going on, gang? Hey, I need some help. I got the amygdala back, and I was about to order the metal. I've uh, noticed the ADC RV2 is a little bit more corrosive than I expected. Um, I, mean, I know it was corrosive, you know, I knew it was corrosive still, but uh, it, it, you know, it went through some abuse, but not a lot, right? You know, I mean, I wouldn't even call it abuse. It went, it went through some use uh, to be uh, more correct. Uh, so, like, patinas don't bother me. That, not at all. You know, you've seen me on my channel probably, if this is your first time watching, uh, force patina, and I don't mind doing that at all. But if I order the, the steel, the ADC RV2, to make up some of these knives, I'm gonna order enough to make 30 or 40 of them. Um, I'm not gonna make 30 or 40 of them initially, I'm just gonna have the steel around to do it, right? Uh, but I'm gonna get them water jetted so they'll be cut out. I'm, uh, I'm throwing it up in the air. ADC RV2 or 5160. Both of them are very similarly priced steels, but uh, 5160 is a little less corrosive and holds an edge a little uh, worse, I guess you would say. So ADC RV2 beats uh, 5160 uh, in the heat treat ranges that I'll be working with, which would be 59 to 61. Uh, so it'll hold a better edge from 59 to 61 than 5160. But it's marginal, man. Neither one of these are gonna be edge retention monsters. Uh, this knife isn't you know, designed to be an edge retention monster. It's pretty thick behind the edge. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's, you know, like it's definitely not thin behind the edge, if you know what I mean. But that's what I need help on. I need help. You guys help me make a decision on 5160 or 80 CRV2. It's just the first batch, it ain't the end of the world. We wanna make some in K390 later? We can, we can do so. Uh, for the first batch, it's gonna have to be something that I'm gonna try to heat treat. Now, a little bit of info. <clears throat> I am going to, for the first uh, 10, I guess you would say, first 10 that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna either pay uh, Paul Boss or Peters to heat treat it, or it could be somebody else. It, like, it could be somebody in the community that knows what they're doing, that has a, a good reputation, like I was talking to Alex Steinberg. Um, sign banger. Whatever. Sorry. Sorry, Alex. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've talked to a couple of, of different individuals. Uh, Alex doesn't have time. He's slammed right now. <clears throat> but he did give me some names of some folks that might be interested in doing it. And he trusts them. If he trusts them, I trust them. So, like, for the first 10 or so, I'm going to have it done by somebody else. Um, the reason why is because I'm, I'm, I'm getting better with my heat treat processes, but I don't have enough faith in my heat treat processes yet to sell it. Uh, so I got a few people wanting one of these. I don't want to just make three, so we're going to make 10. I'm going to try to release them five at a time. Uh, three of those are going out of the first batch, but what I want to do is I want to get your input. ADC RV2, gonna, it's going to be ugly, you know, over time. It's going to rust. It's going to corrode. Uh, so you'll have to take care of it. 5160 can rust too. It just rusts a little less than ADC RV2. Uh, you leave ADC RV2, you wipe it down with a, a baby wipe. The next day it's got a, you know, if you don't put any oil on it, uh, then the next day it'll it'll have a sheet of rust on it. That's just how it does. Uh, 5160 not so bad, but you know, it, it's it's not a, it's not a stainless steel either. So that's it, man. That's all I've got. Um, just your opinions on the, the steel we want to use. I don't mind buying either one of them. It's going to be about the same. Now, New Jersey Steel Baron, if we get it from there, it'll be 5155. It's also called SUP. SUP 9 still. It's I, they say it's identical to 5160. It's just rebranded. It's a different person. It's a different company making the, the steel. So it's kind of like ADC RV2, right? ADC CRV2 is really close to 1084 or 1080, uh, one or the other. So it's 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 really close to a 10 still, uh, 10 series still, but it's a different company that makes it so it's you know it's got their own name to it kind of like a, a Buller K294 CPM 10V I love the, you know those are pretty much interchangeable about CPM 20CV and Buller M390 those are pretty much interchangeable um, so like you know it's the same thing going on here it's not like ADC RV2 is not like a extremely special steel there's nothing wrong with it you know it's a good steel for edge retention but it's like 
it's not as exotic as some people would have you believe and I'll never try to sell you on that it's uh, it's a good steel it's tough 5160 is tougher um, I believe it's a spring steel I believe that's what it was uh, 5160 is tougher and more corrosive re uh, resistant but ADC RV2 will hold an edge longer at similar heat tree, uh, heat, you know, heat tree rock wells, I guess you would say. So let's boat it out, man. I want to keep this video short. Boat it out, ADC RV2 5160. Um, I, if, if I go with New Jersey Steel Baron, just know that'll be uh, 5155. Pretty much the same thing. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you very much for watching.